welcome back to my channel my name is Pam and today's video is going to be my top best book of 2019 I can't believe that 2019 is almost over it's crazy I can't believe it I'm shook but um yeah I'm really excited for 2020 so uh, yeah I'm gonna present to you the books my favorite books of 2019 so uh, yeah let's get started so the first ones are uh, I include them together um, they are the third and the fourth book in the series that I dearly loved last year and that is Ignite Me and Restore Me by Tara Mafi. Um, this is a uh, dystopian series following Juliet who has a um, touch that can kill people. I flew through the first two books in last December in 2018. So in January I read Ignite Me um, like right away. I loved it. It was amazing. Really, really enjoyed it. And I also read um, Restore Me. I think I read it in April or March, something like that. Um, but yeah, loved those two books, really. I thought Ignite Me was a great finale for like the first trilogy. And then um, Restore Me is the first book in like the next trilogy, if you would say. And I really enjoyed it. The world is expanding and um, there's more political intrigue and I really, really enjoyed Juliet's character. Like, her growth is just unbelievable. It's so amazing from where she started in the first one and where she is at the end of this one. Um, the fifth one is already out. I have to... Um, go and buy it so I can read it. I haven't this year even though it came out like in April Something like that. Yeah, I really need to read it But I think I'm waiting for it to come in a paperback because they're like fluffy paperbacks and I just love paperbacks um, So yeah, but I really 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 dearly loved those two books so much five stars Obviously, all of these books are five stars. The next book is a book that I read during my spring break when I was in Florida with one of my friends. And I absolutely loved this book. Ugh, so good. And that is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. If you haven't picked that book yet, you should. This is an amazing book. It's so beautiful. This is a story, um, this is a dystopian story, like a really near future dystopian where there's like this disease that is there that kill off half of the population or a little bit more than half the population. And there's this troop that is um, traveling throughout the US and they are um, doing Shakespeare, Shakespeare's play to entertain the, per the people. And it's really good. The characters is what make this book amazing. I absolutely love them. And you have a um, back and forth between the past and present. Um, and the past is just before the outbreak um, happened, um, like a couple of days before. And then you have the aftermath a couple of years after it. And it's just amazing it's really really good i absolutely love this book it might be a book that i'm gonna reread um for 2020 i'll see but yeah loved it next is a series of book um that i started this year it's an epic adult fantasy and that is a Game of Thrones and A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. This is the first two books in the Song of Ice and Fire series. Um, this is, these are the books that inspired the TV show. I absolutely loved the TV show. I absolutely love it. Um, it finished, it ended this year. Um, I was so sad, so, so sad. So I decided to pick up these books. 
I picked the first one in June and the second one in July. I love them. I gave it them, of course, five out of five stars. Um, it's an epic, like I said, uh, adult fantasy with multiple points of view, a lot of characters, really political, but so good. So, so, so good. So amazing. I, I loved it. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say else. I'm currently reading the third book. I'm going to finish it before the end of this year of 2019. And yeah, it's going to be a five stars also. I just love those books so, so damn much. And A Clash of Kings is um, the book that I brought with me when I was in Italy this uh, past summer. And this is the book that I read throughout my trip. And in the plane, in the trains, at the beach. And yeah. So I have a fun memory. I have fun memories with this book. Um, yeah, I love those books so much. Next is a book that I finished not too long ago. And that is Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schultz. Um, this was an Owl Creek book. I absolutely loved it. It was really, really great. Um, I flew through it like so quickly. It was so intriguing. There's a, like a sci-fi twist, but this is a YA fantasy. And it was really, really good. This is a story in a world where this land is divided in quartets, quadr quadrants, quadrants. I'm going to say in French, quadrants. Um, and there's four queens that rules each cadran. And, um, in this world, you can't take your memories and, uh, or take something in your mind, like an, an idea of something and put it in a chip. And if someone ingests this chip, they can see your memory or what is in the chip, basically. And so our, our main character ingests a chip that, um, and she's confronted with a memory or a plan or an idea, she doesn't know yet, of, of a plan and an idea to kill the four queens. So she's trying to stop that from happening and it was... Oh, it was so, so good. This is a standalone and it was so, 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 so good. I wanted more. <laughs> um, I'm quite sad this is a standalone, but um, yeah, I loved the ending. I was shook by it. I didn't see it coming. It was really, really great. Next is a book that I absolutely, absolutely loved. And that is Satellite by Nick Lake. This is a sci-fi, a YA sci-fi set on the moon, um, set in this spaceship. And the story follows three characters, three teenagers who were born in space. And their goal is to come to Earth. They want to come here, down here, and just live, live like a normal teenager. Like normal teenagers. Um, but, you know, their body is not accustomed um, to gravity. There's no gravity in space. So they're not accustomed to that. And um, it was so, so good. It was so precious. I love, I love these characters so, so damn much. Um, if you've seen the movie, um, what is it called? How is it called? The Space Between Us. If you've seen The Space Between Us, the movie, it's really like that. Like, you know, he's born in space and he wants to come out. This one was born on Mars, um, but still, it's in space. And he wants to come home. He wants to come to Earth. And yeah, that was so precious. That was so good. That was amazing. And the writing style, I really enjoyed. It was, It took me a while to get used to it. Um, just to show you an example, there's like no capital no capitalization whatsoever so um yeah as you can tell and there are some words that are just like you don't see them so well it's like you like the letter u don't see it's like the letter c them so well so um yeah it gets 
but I got used to it like pretty quickly and yeah loved it five out of five stars of course next I put those two books together and that is between shades of gray and salt to the sea by Ruta Spedis I only have physically uh, salt to the sea so I'm gonna hold it but yeah, I love those two so, so that much. Um, those are historical fiction set in World War II. This one is set in uh, Lithuania. Is that it? Is it in Lithuania? I think this one is set in Lithuania. This one follows uh, the biggest a uh, wreck ship that happened in history. We always, uh, we're always thinking about the Titanic, but yeah, this one was even bigger. It's called the William Goslaw. Um, the ship promised um, safety to people, and yeah, tragedies happened. And we followed four teenagers during that time um, period. Completely heartbroken. I cried my eyes out, but um, yes, I absolutely uh, loved it. Really, really did. Um, yeah, and Between Shades of Grey was also really amazing. Uh, I think this one is set in Latvia. Um, it follows a young girl who's um, deported with her family in a concentration camp but it's not Auschwitz it's another one and yeah it's just heartbreaking what um, they've been through and you know it's based on true events and true things and yeah it was really heartbreaking but beautifully written and Ruta Sepetis um, knows her history knows her stuff and yeah I loved those two books so damn much. Next is two books in a series that are dearly dearly love and that is the wicked king and the queen of nothing by holly black i read the cruel prince at the beginning of 2018 and i reread the cruel prince in anticipation of the release of the wicked king absolutely loved the wicked king i think i still preferred the cruel prince but the wicked king was a solid second book and the queen of nothing just came out in november and I loved it so so that much um it was so good and those are two books that I actually like dubbed with like favorite quotes favorite moments really sad moments shocking moments also um but yeah Jude and Carden are just my babies and I want to protect them so that much I love them so much and if you don't know uh, what it's about, it's about Jude, who's a human that gets thrown into the fairy world with her twin sister and her, her older sister, that it is half fae. And um, there is political intrigue, like so much. Um, there's scheming, there's complex characters. Um, yeah, it was so 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 damn good like this is a series that i am gonna reread for next the next years to come like for sure next is dark matter by blake crouch this is a adult sci-fi thriller um it follows a man that is that's been kidnapped and wakes up in a not in, in a world where his wife and his kid are not where his wife is not his wife and there and he has no kids so he's trying to figure out what is happening and yeah it's so damn good so 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 damn good um it was like i don't know what to say it was so good it was brilliant i absolutely loved this book so damn much and um yeah I don't I, I I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. It was so good. It was so good. I don't want to say so much because I think um, 
what is really great about this book is just going in not knowing a lot about it and yeah but read it please read it it's so good and next book is crown of feathers by nikki pao preto this was also an alcrate book i love this i didn't expect it to love this because maybe that's why i gave it a five stars just because like i was not expecting what i got um this is a world where phoenixes and phoenix writers does not uh, is not encouraged by it's not encouraged by the government but our main character wants to be a phoenix driver phoenix writer and um she encounters a phoenix hag and with her sister and yeah it's so good there's political intrigue there's like it's so good it's so damn good she's like a lost princess and oh it was so good the battles were good there's battles there's oh it was so good i can't wait for the second one the second one is coming out in 2020 i'm gonna read it for sure but yeah i can't wait i absolutely love this it was so damn good next is a book that's been on my tbr my physical tbr for the longest i had this book since 2014 i think so it's been like five years that i had this book on my tbr and i never read it even though i knew i would like it but yeah i never did and this year i picked it up and best decision that i ever made in my life and that is the diviners by liba bray first the covers that the cover that's one of the main reasons why i bought this book but i loved the diviners it was so good it's set in 1920 and it follows our main character Evie and she's a diviner and she has this so that means she has a power a paranormal magical power and her power is if she touches an object she can see what happened to the to a person uh, before that before their death or yeah she can see like the past of this object and it was so damn good and it follows a serial killer in New York's 1920 and it was oh it was so good I loved the characters so much I can't wait to read the second one is one of the books that I want to read for 2020 but yeah oh I can't oh I loved I love this one I can't it just it was so good if you haven't picked it up yet please do please and finally is gone girl by gillian flynn this sparked my new love for thrillers um this is the main reason why i want to have i want to read at least one trailer per trailers per month this is the reason of that reading challenge that i put that would put myself through in 2020 i absolutely love this it was amazing amazing like i could not predict what would happen it was so damn good and the ending boom i was bro i blew my mind i was not expecting that at all it was so freaking good I can't like this book is still haunting me I'm still thinking about it I'm yeah it was so 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 good I don't know what else to say so good read it if you haven't been spoiled for this like I was I wasn't spoiled um, before I picked it up this year if you're still not spoiled about the ending about the intrigue of this please pick this book before you are you are spoiled you don't want to be spoiled by this like no you don't it's amazing so that's it guys this is my top favorite book my top best book of 2020 I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one 
Bye.